In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with the MailChimp Extended plugin um, with your Bubble app. So this is a coaching no-code apps plugin. Um, I have a handful of data calls and actions that you can uh, run directly from your app. Um, and we're going to work with uh, retrieving campaigns, sending a campaign immediately, and also adding a subscriber, um, a user in your application to a list in your MailChimp account so that it all is connected and you can manage everything directly from your app. If you're interested in reading a full written walkthrough of this MailChimp setup, it's available now to all of my VIP members. If you're not yet a VIP member, you can sign up through the link in the description below this video. Also, also, if you're interested in learning more about API integrations in general, understanding how this plugin was put together so that you can create your own or expand on it, I have an API video series which you can also read about below. So the first thing you want to do um, is we need some IDs uh, to make note of uh, so that we can properly connect this plugin with your MailChimp account. So when you're logged into your MailChimp account, if you go into the upper right corner here, there's a drop down menu, head over to the account submenu, and then go over to extras and then API keys. Okay, this will offer you um, an area to create keys and also copy any keys that you want to use with any external um, applications or plugins. So go ahead and create a key if you haven't already and copy this key and paste it into your MailChimp extended plugin settings. The way you need to copy the key in here though is you do need to um, add in API key, no space, all lowercase before your key um, oh, and with the space between that. So it should be API key space, then your key after that. Okay, that's how it needs to be entered here. Um, and you can do that, copy the exact same string into both of these fields. Okay, the next thing you want to take note of is your uh, MailChimp data center. So the easiest way you can find the data center is by going to the URL of any page when you're in your MailChimp account. So um, up here at the top, you can see that my data center is US 12. Yours might be different. Okay, you're gonna need this data center um, uh, when you're working with the settings for these different data calls and actions. So just make note of what that is. It'll be the same every time for you, um, but yours might be different from mine, so that's why I'm pointing it out here. The next ID you want to make note of is your list ID. So the way MailChimp works is that you subscribe members to lists. The recipients in that list are where that can, uh, the campaigns will, will go to. So um, if you go to lists, um, you can see your list of uh, all of your lists there. Maybe you have one, maybe you have a whole bunch of them. This is an old account of mine, so I have some test lists, um, some lists when I was first getting started with Coaching No Code Apps. Um, and if you don't have any lists yet, go ahead and create uh, a list by clicking this button up here. Okay, um, now go ahead and create the list. You still need this. This tagging feature is new uh, within MailChimp, but you do want to create a list. Um, I'm gonna open up an old list here um, so that I can point out where the ID is. So when you are open in the list itself, uh, go to settings and then go to list name and defaults. You can also get to this screen here from your list menu by going to this drop down menu and then hitting settings right there. Okay, so again, list name and defaults is where you ultimately want to end up. And then this list ID in red is what you want to take note of. We're gonna to need to insert this ID whenever we're um, adding a new email address to a list and also when we're trying to identify campaigns um, uh, it, within the actions, okay? So those are the three things. It's your API key, uh, your data center up at the top here, um, and then your list ID. So an example that um, will help many of you who are working with MailChimp, um, something that you might commonly want to do is upon sign up of uh, a user sign up to your app directly, you might want to also add them in the same workflow to a MailChimp list. So the easiest way to do that is say you have your you know basic sign up form here, 
We'll start a workflow from this sign up button. So first you want to sign them up to your bubble app, right? So you can use a regular sign the user up action. This is normal. This has nothing to do with MailChimp yet. This just creates a new user account in your bubble app. So I'll say email is my uh, input from the form and then password will be the password. Okay, so that's that. Now we want to trigger an action to add this same email address to a specific list in your MailChimp account. So we'll add another action. Uh, navigate down to plugins and we'll go to MailChimp extended subscribe member. Okay, so here you can see there are a few things that we need to fill out. The data center, again, from uh, your URL up there, you'll want to enter that in. So if yours is different, like maybe yours says US 16 or some other number, uh, you can add that there. The list ID, so which list do you want this user's email address to be added to? That's the list ID that you want to paste in there. That, again, is the one in red here under your list settings. And then everything else you can fill in from your signup form. So the email address, I'll pull in from my input. The last name, I also have a last name input and a first name input. So we'll fill those all in dynamically. The status you can leave alone. By default, I have it set up so that um, it will subscribe everyone. Now, depending on the settings that you have within your MailChimp account, you might have a double opt-in feature where um, users need to uh, confirm their email address before they can actually get added as an active list member. Um, just a way to prevent spam uh, and before they can really start receiving campaigns. So if you have a double opt-in feature, you will need to set the status to pending. Um, that will uh, make sure that this email address is not yet confirmed um, and they will go through the double opt-in process. Basically, they'll get an automated email from MailChimp uh, with a link so that they can click on it to confirm and then MailChimp will change their status to subscribed. If you set it to subscribed, they are automatically confirmed um, and they can start receiving campaigns immediately. Please make sure that you have your users um, consent to be added to your marketing lists. Uh, it's very important that everyone's aware what they're being subscribed to, especially if you're sending them promotional material. Um, so that will, in one workflow, sign up your user as well as subscribe them to a list in your MailChimp account in one go. You don't have to flip between your Bubble app and your MailChimp account to do that separately. Okay, now from here, you can actually trigger an automated email to go out to the member purely from having been added to a list. So that is a feature within MailChimp called automations. Um, basically, that lets you create some kind of a trigger and then a series of emails or even just one email will go out to them automatically. Um, this is a great way to send uh, an automated sequence, uh, uh, multiple emails on some schedule if you'd like. Um, as long as there are emails to send in that queue. Uh, in order to create an automation, you'll have to go into your MailChimp account, hit create, um, and then start with an email, uh, and then uh, select an automated type of email. And then from there, you can go and select your trigger. Uh, basically, you can customize the whole automated flow. One of the more popular automation sequences is as soon as you have a new subscriber to the list, they get an email, so a welcome email. So that's something that you can have set up within MailChimp so that as soon as this trigger, uh, or sorry, this action is triggered, um, they will be added to the list and then immediately uh, be sent a welcome email uh, because you have that automation set up in MailChimp. Now, if you wanted to send um, a campaign uh, directly from your bubble application, you can do that. We can display all of the campaigns that you've set up in MailChimp. So if I go uh, here, I can see some drafts here. I can also see all of my completed emails right there. Um, we can display that same information in your bubble app and actually send campaigns immediately from your bubble app. So the way that you would want to see it is use a repeating group is probably the easiest because this will display the list. Uh, the type of content, if I type in campaign, I see a, a few options here. So ultimately, this is a list of campaigns. So um, the call is to get all campaigns, and then campaign is each list item. So essentially, I want to see a list of this, of these campaign items. And then data source, we are getting data from an external API. 
And if I just, I obviously don't have very many plugins uh, installed into this application, so it's very easy to find what I need. But if you do have a whole bunch of them, you can always search by typing in uh, and filtering it down. So I want the get all campaigns data source. And then from that source, I want to view the list of campaigns. There are some uh, uh, higher level items too that you get back, for example, the number of items in this list um, and also links, but we're really interested here in the actual campaign details themselves. So now my repeating group is set up to display those things. Uh, it would be really helpful if you filled in your cell with helpful identifying information, for example, I have a text element here so I can display current cells campaigns um, will do subject line okay and that way I can see exactly what the subject of the email is again these campaigns you're setting up in your MailChimp account first uh, and if I copy this over to another text let's say I want to display the recipient um, count so I know how many recipients will be receiving this campaign uh, I can also do the name of the list that this campaign is associated with because every campaign is linked to a single list. So I can type in list to see what our options are here. I can view the list name. So that's pretty descriptive. Remove that. So I have the subject line, the number of recipients, which would probably be a, a smaller text like that, and then our list name, just so that I can identify um, my uh, all of my campaigns by looking at it in a list here you're essentially creating something like this this is obviously designed a little bit more but you can certainly replicate this if you'd like now the important thing here is to actually trigger the action we want which is to send the campaign so i'll add a button and i will call this send immediately this action is not a scheduler it is a, an immediate send so um, if you need to schedule it, you can use Bubble's API workflows to schedule um, a workflow to happen in the future. Um, but uh, the action itself will, will send as soon as you trigger it, as soon as you run it. So I'll start edit a workflow with this button. Um, and then the plugin action we want is send campaign. And the campaign ID we can retrieve directly from the cell. So current cells campaigns ID, because each of these cells represent a different campaign. So the button is able to reference um, that cell's information. So we want to insert the ID so we know which campaign to send. And again, just keep in mind your data center, make sure that's the right one for what you're using. Okay, uh, also here when you are setting up your data source for the list, um, this also requires data center, so make sure that you set that up as well. Don't forget that one. You might get an error if, uh, you, you will get an error if your data center is wrong. All right, so that will show, that will send the campaign immediately. Um, Again, if you need to schedule it in the future, you can either use an automation within MailChimp or use Bubble's API workflows to schedule this action to happen at some future point in time. But this should get you going with some of the basic features of this plugin, uh, how to add users to your list, and then how to send campaigns. Um, and then working alongside any automations you have set up in MailChimp will give you a really powerful integration. Thanks so much for watching.